Now let's think about where your journey as a programmer is right now. If you're someone who's hit a roadblock or someone who's having trouble learning new concepts of programming, this video is for you. If you're someone who has had trouble learning data structures or algorithms, then this video is for you. And if you're someone who's having problems retaining information as a programmer, this video is for you. I don't want you to go buy another coding course from Udemy. I don't want you to go watch another six hour long coding tutorial. You don't need to build another clone of Netflix. These things are not helping you. And if they were, you would not be watching this video right now. Before we get into what exactly you need in order to learn more effectively as a programmer, I have to make one thing crystal clear. If you do not do this daily, it will not work. So what is the secret? What could it be? You may have heard of them before. Heck, you may have tried some of them. But odds are you did them incorrectly. Coding challenges. Now, 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 before you call this another fluff video or something that you've already heard of before, pay close attention to what I'm about to say. The job industry doesn't need just a programmer. They need a problem solver. And what we're about to break down is how you become a dedicated, efficient, problem solver. As a developer, you'll be faced with all sorts of problems that you have to solve on a daily basis. By doing coding challenges, you get practice in taking large complex problems and breaking them down into smaller, more manageable chunks. Look, put it this way, in the real world of programming, you're gonna be faced with a lot more than finding a missing semicolon. It's not the only problem out there. Meaning more than ever, programmers need to have problem solving skills. And that's where coding challenges come into play. Many coding challenges are designed to teach you something new, whether it's a new data structure or programming language specific concepts. By doing these challenges daily, you'll be able to expand your knowledge in a more fun and exciting way. If you've seen The Office, you know Stanley is always working on his crossword puzzles. Did I stutter? Coding challenges are like your daily crossword puzzles. They are your way of sharpening your coding skills in real world cases. You learn how to solve problems that you might and will encounter in the real world. That means your chances of landing better jobs, crushing interviews, and being a standout developer increases tenfold. Challenges start off relatively easy and then they get harder as you progressively develop your skills. Look, the trick to coding challenges is this, and this is where most people mess up. You have to do them daily. And if you're not constantly trying to improve your coding skills through daily challenges, you're not going to become a standout developer. Daily is key. Think about going to the gym. If you only go to the gym, Monday and Friday. You're not going to see any progress. But if you go to the gym Monday through Friday, you could be looking like the next Ryan Reynolds in no time. And the same thing applies with coding challenges. So if you want to be the Ryan Reynolds of coding, then you need to be doing coding challenges. And this will make it substantially easier to retain information. Concepts will become like muscle memory. Data structures and algorithms will become easy to you. And all of these problem solving skills that we've been talking about will grow at a rapid rate. This is how you get a job as a programmer. This is how you become a standout developer that employers want to hire. Not just being able to write code, but being able to write code that can solve problems. Now, when I say a lot of people do these wrong, this is what I mean. A lot of times people will do a coding challenge, they get the answer wrong, and then they go and they Google and they try and find the right answer and then they just move on. That moment right there where you go and find the answer, copy and paste it and just go along, that's why you're not retaining any information. It's the same thing with coding tutorials. If I were to watch a six hour long tutorial and just copy the code mindlessly and do whatever the other person is doing, I'm not gonna learn anything. But if I were to start reviewing my code and finding out and educating myself on why things are running the way they run, that's when I start learning. So it's important while you're doing these coding challenges that you're always constantly reviewing your code. No more saying, I don't get it, I'm just gonna move on. No more copying and pasting answers and just letting it go. Instead, find out why the solution works the way it works. Once you understand that, then move on. Secondly, don't rush challenges. It might feel good to say you got five challenges done in a day, but if I were to go back and give you those exact same challenges, you might be stuck again. It's better if you do one challenge a day where you get to fully immerse yourself into that one challenge and understand how it works and why it works than just blatantly blowing through challenges, copying and pasting code, and not really understanding anything. So don't rush it. All right, so recap. Coding challenges work. You need to do them daily. Review your code and don't rush it. And that's how you can make coding challenges work for you. 
And check this out, here's a big surprise. At DevSlips, we created our very own 30 day JavaScript coding challenge. We give you 30 missions to complete and we help you take your JavaScript skills to the next level. Whether you've coded or never coded before, this challenge is for you, so go check it out. That's it for now, guys. I hope this video helps a ton. Check out the 30 day JavaScript coding challenge, link down below, and I hope to see you there. See you in the next one.